Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. My channel. My channel. My channel. Welcome to my channel. Wow, I've always wanted to say that. And now we're here. So as seen in the intro clip, I'm creating a YouTube series called Queer. Queer is going to be a space where queer people from all different backgrounds, ethnicities and upbringings can come and they can share their story. On this channel, we are going to explore people's journeys from since their childhood. We want to understand their struggles, their accomplishments, their coping mechanisms and how they have grown to overcome a lot of the obstacles that they were faced with in their life. Oh my gosh, guys, I haven't even introduce myself yet. You guys are probably sitting there wondering who the hell is this guy and why is he doing this? My name is Finley Porter and I'm originally from Barbados in the Caribbean. Yes, that beautiful one with all the beautiful beaches and all the beautiful culture and all the beautiful people like Rihanna. But with all of that beauty, Unfortunately, Barbados is actually quite a homophobic place. Homosexual acts are illegal with a possible life sentence. Growing up there, I witnessed so much bullying and so much discrimination against people that were thought to be gay that honestly, it was just, it was just so tough. There was so much homophobia and negative energy surrounding sexuality. So much so that like I was closeted until I was 19 and I was so, so, so disconnected from that part of me. I was, I did whatever I could to just fly under the radar. <sighs> yeah, it's tough, you know, you have all these feelings going on inside and you just don't even know how to express them or let alone want to express them. I mean, I think that was the toughest part, just hiding everything away and never talking about it. Yeah. I mean, I don't even think I really knew any openly gay person until I moved to Canada and that's when I became a little bit more exposed to the community, um, let alone felt comfortable with the community. Yes, it took me some time to break down my internal homophobia and all that discrimination that I witnessed and was ingrained in me from the past. It took me some time to break that down and actually feel comfortable associating or hanging around uh, people that were openly gay. Um, but deep down, like I truly in, like was inspired by them and how courageous and bold and just like how they were able to live their truth, you know? But then when I did become a little bit more comfortable, when I was like 18 and, or 19, just before I started exploring my sexuality, I remember meeting gay, lesbian or bi people and whether that was like through friends or through school and I remember poor people, like them having to sit down and talk to this little closeted gay Bajan kid um, about their journey. And I asked them tons of questions about their sexuality. And I'm so grateful for these people because they helped me with my self-discovery and they helped me with my journey into figuring out my identity. And I remember watching tons of coming out stories on YouTube and all of this 100% helped me understand how big the community is and how diverse the spectrum is and how everybody is on their own unique path. So in my own personal journey, I'm still figuring things out and I'm still learning and educating myself wherever I can. I'm, I've built a lot of confidence in myself over the last seven years, but when I go back to Barbados, I still have moments where that closeted past wants to creep up and make me want to act a certain way or change my mannerisms just to abide to society. But I'm aware of it and I'm working on it. I'm working on it every single time I go. But the main thing for me is 
I surround myself with amazing family and amazing friends and people who love me for who I am and who I choose to love. So if you guys are watching this, I just want you to know I'm super grateful for you guys and for the support. So thank you. Um, in all, stories have been a super big impact in my life. So my mission with this channel is to spread awareness through real life story. And I hope that this platform and the people that come on it can inspire, they can educate, and they can give hope to those people who are struggling with their own sexuality. So guys, join me on this adventure and together we will connect, share, heal, and grow. If you guys enjoyed this channel, please like, subscribe, and comment, and tune back in next week, because next week we are gonna learn a little bit more about me and my story on figuring out my own sexuality. So please come back, come back, come back. I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Ooh, ciao, that was hard. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> they never said this thing was not easy.